that's good stuff. Alright, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the student broadcast program, visit nfhsnetwork.com slash SVP. Troy Athens served as the site for the 2015 MHSAA Boys Lacrosse Finals, and a pair of familiar foes squared off in the Division I game, defending champion Birmingham Brother Rice and Catholic League rival Detroit Catholic Central. Catholic Central drew first blood when Rocco Mollaroni wheeled around from the back of the net to score for the Shamrocks. But Brother Rice responded with an eight-goal run. Watch John Lockwood scoop up this clearing pass and score. And here are a couple of nice goals by Morgan Mako as the Warriors continued their winning ways with a 16-6 decision. The Division II game between Bloomfield Hills, Cranbrook, Kingswood and first-time finalist Okemos went to the wire. The Chiefs tied the score with 80 seconds to go, forcing a crane turnover and going the length of the field with Charlie Cluck tying things up at 9-9. They look to tie it. Getting free. In front, side of the crease. Shot score! Two puts it in and we're tied at 9. But then in a scene like out of the movie Hoosiers, Cranbrook Kingswood milked the clock for the game-ending shot. Ben Holden of MHSAA TV makes the call. They're just gonna go for one shot. It looks like clear out and let Wagner go. 25 seconds to go. Guessing he goes somewhere in the next five seconds here. At 15, here he comes. Here comes Wagner. One on one, gets his hands free, fire, scores! Wagner! Up top, and he puts it away with 10 seconds left. Chiefs had one last chance, but the shot went wide, and the Cranes won their second title in three years, 10-9. Fires missed it. There's the ball game. They heave down the field, and the Cranes of Cranbrook have won their second championship in the last three years. At Rockford High School, the girls' finals featured familiar faces, with Cranbrook Kingswood facing defending champion East Grand Rapids in the opener in Division II. Lisa Elder gets East's first goal of the game off a restart, taking a pass and going right to the net. CK came back to tie things up at two with Ari Vespa making a nice drive to the goal. But then the Pioneers used the great play of Lindsay and Lexi Duca to put the game out of reach. Here's Lindsay's goal in the first half, which proved to be the game winner. And then Lexi comes up with a nice second half goal here. The final, East Grand Rapids 19, Cranbrook Kingswood 6. The hometown Rockford Rams look to three-peat against Bloomfield Hills Marion, the Mustangs back in the finals for the first time in five years. Marion gets on the board first. Watch this pretty pass to Claire Fisher camping on the doorstep of the goal for the score. Then the Rams ripped off eight straight. Here's the last goal of the group with Alex Vanderbolen driving to the net. And here's Vandermolen again in the second half, scoring what proved to be the game-winning goal. We don't give the goalies enough love sometimes in these highlight reels, and here's a huge stop by Roxford keeper Katie Elwell, which helped preserve the lead late in the second half. Rockford celebrated another Division I crown, 10-9, over the Marion Mustang.